Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode as I document my build to uh, get a complete 1961 Topps baseball set. So here I have got a box. Um, it's actually from the gentleman that bought the uh, 61 Maze um, MVP insert from me. Uh, I sold it right before I decided to uh, build this entire set. Um, you know, when he confirmed he got delivery, I just shared with him. That little joke found a little humor in it, and he said, well, you know what? I've actually got some uh, some 61s laying around, so he cut me a really good deal. I bought these sight unseen. I think there's about 40 cards in there, so uh, excited to open this. This is by far the largest addition to the set um, so far. Yesterday, I picked up a few more, um, so I'll pull those out as well. But uh, slowly starting to accumulate a uh, little bit of a, a collection here for the 61 top set. So excited for that. I'm just pulling the, uh, the ones I picked up yesterday. So yesterday I added uh, Orlando Cepeda, San Francisco Giants. That is card number 435 out of 587. Picked up uh, Babe Ruth, hits a 60th homer. This was uh, one of the many, many inserts in that set. Um, number 401 right here, Babe hits the 60th. I find it ironic that in 1961 there was a card commemorating the home run record and that was, uh, I believe, the year Roger Maris broke that record. Kind of, uh, kind of ironic. Here's one that's a little tougher to get. I uh, probably will upgrade this when I find one with better centering. But had a good deal on it. Picked it up. It is a Carl Yastrzemski 1961 rookie card. Um, significant because uh, it's rumored he did sign for $100,000, which in 61 was a lot of money. And then I uh, also picked up a Brooks Robinson yesterday. Crisp card there. Uh, Orioles, great. I think I shared that on the page. That was a single uh, one-off buy. Excited for that one as well. So that was the additions I got yesterday. But I will jump into uh, this box here. Pretty excited um, for this, this lot here. It should be a bunch of commons, um, but still uh, critical to build the entire set. So here we go, we'll see what condition these are in, who all is in there, and uh, if it gives me any duplicates. I uh, have come across two duplicates so far, um, a Ron Sano rookie duplicate and the Mickey Mantle MVP insert. This guy right here came across a duplicate there as well. Um, was able to quickly sell that one, and the profits from that will go straight into adding to this set. So good packaging there. Thank you, Jay. And away we go. All right, first one up, a duplicate here. I've already got the uh, Frank Robinson, but uh, here's one. It's in decent condition, some paper loss, but well-centered for a 50-year-old card. You can't complain too much, Frank Robinson. Here's a new one, Bobby Richardson, New York Yankees. That is number 180, Bobby Richardson. Here's one of the many inserts in the set, the uh, NL batting leaders from 1960. A lot of big names on there, particularly Mays and Clemente. That is number 41 in the set. Pete Burnside, Washington Senators. Here's one, it's in good condition. Uh, very off-center, so likely one that I will look to upgrade as I go through building this set. Number 507 there, Pete Burnside. Here's one with a little bit of ink, so another one I'll look to uh, upgrade, but not upset to add it to the set right now. Uh, Al Rosen commemorating his 1953 year when he won the AL MVP. That is number 474. Terry Fox, Detroit Tigers, 1961 rookie. Another one, a uh, bad cut there, but I'll take it while I can right now. Here's a Johnny James, LA Angels, number 457. Bob Allen, Indians rookie in 1961. 
452. Luis Aparicio, White Sox, number 440. Tony Taylor, Philadelphia Phillies, a little beat up at the top here. Um, okay, condition, number 411, add it for now. Al Woodchick, Senators, a little off center, 397. Chuck Essigen, Athletics. I think this might actually be an example of uh, one of the reasons the design for this year was in this manner, where it was uh, portraits of the players taking up most of the card, no logos on the front. Uh, looks like an Orioles hat he's wearing, but uh, it does call out the Kansas City Athletics. My guess is uh, affected by the expansion in the league that year, which Topps tried to account for in their design of the cards here. Um, one reason why it's full frontal shots, looking at the faces, very portrait heavy, um, and no logos. Eddie Fisher here, San Francisco Giants. A little bit of creasing, not too bad. Number 366. Frank Funk, Indians, 1961 rookie, number 362, creasing in the middle, but not terrible. Valmy Thomas, Cleveland Indians, number 319. Here's the Athletics team card. That is number 297. Tom Studevant, Senators is, it looks like crossed out with a pen. And that is number 293. A lot of history, a lot of character, probably a ton of childhood memories on these cards. Jose Pagan, Giants, number 279. I think that's one of the things I enjoy most about building this set. These are 50-year-old cards. A lot of history, a lot of... Uh, the, these are the ones that survived the bike spokes. Hank Foyles, Baltimore Orioles, number 277. Here is a checklist, card number 273. Tom Morgan, LA Angels, 272. Carol Hardy, Boston Red Sox, 257. Bill Short, Yankees, 252. Ed Keegan, rookie in 61 for the Athletics. 248. A little bit of pin damage on the uh, back side. <clears throat> Joe Adcock, Braves. 245. A little more, uh, you can see someone had fun with the pin there. Again, 50 year old card. Memories. Dave Sisler, Washington Senators. 239. Rudy Hernandez, 61 rookie for the Senators. 229. Mike Higgins, manager for the Red Sox, number 221. Hal Brown, Orioles, number 218. I believe this is checklist number three, card 189. Giants team card, number 167. Felix Mantilla, Braves, very off-center there, number 164. Marty Coe, Washington Senators, number 146. Walt Alston, Dodgers manager, number 136. Mickey Vernon, Senators manager, number 134. Rip Rapolsky, Red Sox. Number 128. Here's a card with some, some wear and tear on it. Ron Klein, pitcher for the Cardinals. Number 127. Chicago Cubs, team, team card. Pin mark on the back, number 122. Hobie Landreth, Giants. Number 114. Chico Fernandez, Tigers. Number 112. Carl Willie, Braves. Number 105. Baltimore Orioles, Gene Stevens. A little bit of paper loss there on the front. 
number 102. Checklist number two, card number 98. Lee Walls, Philadelphia Phillies. Number 78. You can see the, uh, the scenery on the backside is off by so much. The top of the card's cut off. You can see the bottom of, I'm assuming, card either 77 or 79. Joe Pignatano, Dodgers. Card number 74. Mar Thornberry, Athletics, card number 57. Leo Posada, 61 rookie for the A's, number 39. Jack Kralik, Twins, number 36. Team Checklist, number 2, card number 98. I believe that is a duplicate. Yes, it is. Bob Oldis, Pittsburgh Pirates, number 149. And we've got checklist to finish it off. Number three here, card number 189. I believe that's a duplicate. And number four, card number 273. So that does it for the, uh, the I was able to pick these up at a pretty good price, pretty uh, fair price, I believe. Thank you, Jay. Um, Pretty excited. This is the largest addition to the 61 set. So uh, my build is quickly growing. Um, pretty excited. I'll keep you guys up to date on larger ones. I'll do a review like this. As I pick up one or two cards, I'll just post them to the page. But I uh, really appreciate um, the messages and the comments we've gotten so far. This is exciting. Let me know what player you're looking forward to the most. And uh, I'll keep documenting the build to... Uh, all 587 1961 cards. Thank you and have a great night.